But in Genesis 1 and in Colossians 1 and in Hebrews 1, God the Son is right there with the Father and the Spirit, by the way, creating all things for himself. Wait, so he was wanna, not he was not he was not born. You, listen. He, he was not he was not a thought. He was not conjectured, but he he eternally existed with the Go. Yes, you move too fast because in the beginning uh -huh. you say it doesn't mean brought forth. You literally I argue say, that I that's in relationship right in the relationship to e the eternal essence of the son and the father. No, he was not brought forth. He was already in existence with the father. But in his earthly ministry, when he came to earth, John 1, the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the only begotten, there it is right there, the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. That's what he's talking about. That's the context of begotten, Bryson. You don't so have to like it. Draw for it. I mean, I don't, I, I, to be honest, like, this is what I be talking about, bro. This is like seven minutes wasted of stuff that could have been I, quality I wasted, conversation. I'm just explaining to you what the word is. You're not explaining. Is. All you're doing is reaffirming or reconfirming what I said seven minutes ago. No, 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 because you don't believe that Jesus Christ eternally existed with the Father. Uh, do you do, she, do you do you believe she, that? Do you affirm that? Wait, wait, wait. That? See, see, we had this conversation earlier, didn't we? Who did? Who you, did? Talking about, you talking about you and I, or you talking the about the talking about me? I'm talking to Sheik currently. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Is there actually she? Should I call you Avery? I'm just so call confused. me Avery, bro. Avery. Cool, Avery. Do we not have this conversation about um about Jesus earlier? We did. We did. What was the conclusion? Because I, I, I didn't. I didn't mm -hmm. know. He actually believes that Jesus is uncreated. But wait, I said I'm not. I said because I'm an honest person. I said I'm not set in stone. But because of Colossians, which we went over, mm -hmm. uh, I usually call it Colossians. Y'all messing me up. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, Colossians got a different ring to it, a better ring to it. But um, but uh, so I told him earlier, I'm not. I'm not set in stone on it because of. There's multiple arguments against it. So, as you know, Seiko, I watch many, many debates. And, uh, you know, if I see somebody make sense, use a conjecture, I'll be like, eh, which most people do. And when it's clear cut, it's clear cut. This is one of those conversations to where it's like I see arguments on both sides, even though I lean towards uh, one side. So do you, do you, what about Hebrews one? What is your, what is your argument? <laughs> that? And, I, just, and, and forgive me, Bryson, forgive me because we did have this conversation before and unless, unless you have shifted and changed and that's good. Praise God. He, he, Hebrews one, go ahead. Tell me. So no, I'm, I'm asking, do you, yeah. do you hold to the position where the son is equal to the father? The son is not equal to the father. You, so, so the son is not equal to the father. Nope. Did you say nigga? <laughs> Hold up. So, so the son is not equal to the father. Nope. Oh Lord. <laughs> hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. What? So, so the son is not equal to the father. Nope. So so the son is not equal to the father. Nope. Nigga, please. Hold it now. Hold it now. Wait. Hey, sucker man. I mean, come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Show me the strength. Now you see now. Up, you know that, don't you?